Thank you for tuning in to Homeschool Homesteaders. Today we're going to talk about what is a wild raisin or viburnum nudum, scientific name. So a wild raisin, it's a tree-like shrub that is native to eastern North America, starting from Ontario, Canada, down to Florida, Georgia area, and all the way west to upper Mississippi states like Wisconsin. And they thrive in swampy, boggy soil. Here is a picture off the internet shaded in green where they grow and i live in the state of minnesota right up here where the red dot is and i have them in my yard so obviously this map is not accurate but you know they've been introduced pretty much everywhere other names for the wild raisin is the adirondack shrub the wither rod possum haw and the northern wild raisin any good homesteader, he or she must walk through the woods in springtime and see how many trees you can identify based solely on the bark, tree branch structure and stuff like that. And so here I am walking through my woods, enjoying my woods, and I found a wild raisin tree. And one of the ways to determine what is a wild raisin slash choke cherry slash buckthorn is a very simple clue which I'm going to tell you about it's the branches where the berries are and I believe that's the best way to determine a wild raisin tree now the wild raisin it has edible berries that ripen in late September so here's some pictures these are off the web and what happens is when these berries fall off you have the branches remaining where the berries were and so all throughout winter and early spring you could find a tree with this branch like structure and you could determine that's probably a wild raisin so this here is probably april when the snow melted and notice the branches what i showed you from previous so this is where the berries were hanging before the birds ate them where they fell off and so this is one of the ways to determine the trees now this could be a nanny berry it could be a choke cherry uh, maybe even a buckthorn but chances are this is a wild raisin because throughout the summer i came back to this spot to determine here this is early may i came back to the spot and the leaves is one of the best ways to determine a tree and so now since we have the green foliage i could better determine what kind of tree this is and the next few slides i will explain how the leaves should look on a wild raisin wild raisins the leaves are arranged in opposite pairs on the twigs so there's going to be two leaves opposite of each other same with nanny berries and choke cherries as well depending on the time of the year they're about one to three inches long egg shaped uh, maybe two inches wide or broad and they have an accumulate apex the tip is kind of like this shape now, as I mentioned before, they do have common lookalikes, and one of the common lookalikes for a wild raisin will be the nanny berry. But the biggest difference between the wild raisin versus the nanny berry is that the wild raisins will have four petals. The flowers will look similar, but they will have four petals. And the nanny berry will have five petals. This is one of the biggest difference, but this is only determined in the spring months. Another difference between wild raisin versus the nanny berry is the leaf margin. The leaf margin is smooth on a wild raisin. However, the leaf margin of a nanny berry, although similar, it has it's kind of razored. Now this is May 15th, and notice you're going to have the clusters of flowers growing. And the flowers are really beautiful, and this is why even if you're not going to eat the berries, keep it for the flowers. Now the next couple of clips will show you why you might want to have a wild raisin in your yard because late May, early June, you have the flowers blooming and it's like one of the most prettiest tree ever. And of course, keep in mind this is a wild raisins because if you look at some of the clips, you can see the four petals on the flowers as opposed to five petals on the nanny berry. But like i said once the flower that this tree blooms it's very pretty the flowers have no smell on their own but it attracts a lot of beneficial insects 
So, of course, I could never get honeybees because honeybees tend to fly away as soon as you come near. But I didn't have uh, bumblebees. I did have other insects. So, pollinating insects are attracted to this tree. And like I said, it's very pretty. It's a white flowering tree. And I encourage everybody, don't chop this tree down if you find one in your yard. Keep it. If you have wild raisins in your yard, obviously you're going to have a buckthorn in your yard as well. This here is a buckthorn, as opposed to the beautiful wild raisins. Now, notice the flowers on the wild raisins. However, buckthorns do not have much flowers. Also, buckthorns, they will have uh, berries like in the summer. Wild raisins will only have berries late in the fall. So. Keep in mind, know the difference between the two trees. Now back to the buckthorn. Like I said, this is an invasive species. My yard is full of them. I wish my yard was full of other trees, but I don't have the choice. So this is the buckthorn that I eventually clear out from my land. Notice this is probably July 1st, July maybe 17th, July, 4th of July period. And the berries are growing on the trees. And they're fully ripe by July and the birds come, eat the seeds, then they spread them everywhere. And so this is an invasive species, which I'm slowly getting rid of, but it's a long process. So once again, know the difference between a common buckthorn versus other trees. Buckthorns we destroy. While the buckthorns are fully ripe at this time of the summer, the wild raisins, you're just going to have green berries. These green berries will be green for a very long time. They only become edible late September here in Minnesota. So, and once again, the trees are just full of berries. If you look, this is all berries. And of course, the birds are attracted to your yard. You have grouse, the deer will come eat. And I'm not even sure I'm gonna have berries. Stay tuned to find out if I do have berries, but this is what happens. It's a wild bird feeder. In the month of August, the berries are still green. And notice some of them are disappearing. Many have just fall to the ground. The birds come and eat. So like I said, this is a giant bird feeder in your yard. And you know what? If God wants the birds to munch on my tree in my yard, go for it. God's in control. So the birds could do whatever they want. Plus, you know, it's nice to see a grouse, uh, the pheasants, the turkeys. I don't have clips, but they do come into my yard and they're, they hang out around this tree. And it's like I said, I don't mind a giant natural bird feeder in my yard. And the berries are gone. Every single one of them is missing. So the birds came and devoured everything. Am I disappointed in a sense? Yes, because I wanted to try these berries, see how they taste like. But like I said, the birds need to eat. I could always put a net over this tree, but like I said, it's a natural giant bird feeders. It attracts beautiful birds into my yard. Of course, I could never get a picture because they fly away. Once in a while, I'll get like a black capped chickadee or some kind of robin. But the turkeys, the grouse, yeah, they are gone. They fly away as soon as I step even close to the tree. So, like I said, let the birds enjoy their food as well. This here clip is your fall foliage. So in case you're walking through the woods on a beautiful fall day and you see a tree with some reddish leaves, maybe yellowish to reddish, um, it's probably a wild raisin. So of course, no berries. I am not disappointed because you know the birds need to eat and we are not starving to the point where we relied on these berries solely for food. This video was just to show you what a wild raisin looks like all four seasons of the year. And hopefully, like I said, if you have one growing in your yard, leave it alone, or you could chop it down. It's your yard, your property. But I prefer to keep it because it's a beautiful spring tree. It's a beautiful giant bird feeder. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.